All right, here I am back in the living room here. Um, I wanted to test a circuit in here uh, for dirty electricity. So I'm gonna set the camera down there where you can see this circuit. And get the little child protection deals out of here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our gram stetcher meter in there. And you can see that it's reading Looks like 166, 160, 176, one, anyway, in that range. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick our filter in there. And it takes it down to 91, 92. Um, if, you, if we were, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go stick one in a different plug of the same circuit. So hang on. Okay, I stuck one in there. Now we're getting really close to the safe range. I stuck it in there and it took it down to 64 and hang on just one second okay so I want to talk to you a little bit about this house this is uh, what what I would do uh, in, in this house this is why I wanted to do this um, this uh, ebook from this house because um, I knew it had a lot of problems um, so what do we have in this house that could be causing dirty electricity? We've got all the smart items that are plugged into outlets like the echoes and all those things, all the different appliances. We've got the, the smart devices that are hardwired into the system, like the, the smart switches, light switches, the smart uh, thermostat, um, there's the smart uh, uh, controls for the, um, uh, what's it called, the sprinkler system. Um, they have a solar system, I mean solar panels on this roof um, that's hardwired in. I don't know how that system, you know, I've never had a solar system, so I don't know how that affects everything. Um, so when you're dealing with this kind of stuff, on my house, my house was really simple. I didn't have all those smart devices on it. And like I said, mine averaged, uh, uh, on my house it averaged anywhere from 60 to 140 on all of the circuits and the stick and the filter in it took them all down into the 20s or 30s. So I was well within the safe range. So my house was really easy to do. Um, but if this was my house, this is an older home. Um, my house is an older home, but it's it's been recently rewired, so they did a really good job on the wiring. I know I don't have any wiring issues. This house might. It looks like in the basement some of it might have been finished by somebody that wasn't, uh, you know, maybe the homeowners did some of the work themselves. Stuff like that, if there's electrical problems, can cause, uh, you know, these issues. Most of the time those issues, you know, are circuit by circuit. But there seems to be a resistance to this house um, to want to get down below the 50 range. You know, you don't want to stick 15 filters in every circuit. You know, it'd cost you a fortune. Um, and I'm exaggerating there. But so what I would do is I would go through and the house and I would unplug everything. The sprinkler system, you know, uh, that might have to be, uh, you know, Unwired. I'm not sure how that one turns on. It's probably got an on and off switch. Anyway, but like the the smart, uh, I would unplug all the devices that you can just unplug, um, and then I would test it, test a bunch of the circuits with the with the Gram Stetzer meter, and see what the filters have effect they have on that. Um, then what I would do is I would I would go uh, circuit by circuit. Now this is a big, huge project. I understand that. Um, but it's your family safety. It's a, to me, it would be important enough to go through all this. Then what, what I, I would do is I would, I would go through and I would replace all of the smart light switches and smart uh, things that are hardwired into the house, the th smart thermostat. I'd turn the power off on the house and I'd switch all those out um, to where they were and I would just put in their regular light switches um, so that I could see because uh, um, they may not be causing as big of an effect as I think they might be. 
um, you, that's why, I, you know, that's why it's so important to have these meters is so that you can test and, and identify. So this is how I would do it, is I would, I would turn the power off, take all those smart devices off of my electrical system, disconnect them all from the electrical system so that all you've got is really the only thing you'll have on there then is your smart meter coming in. And then I would turn the power back on. You know, I've got regular light switches now, a regular thermostat that's not smart. And I would go through um, um, and measure all of the circuits and, and have, you know, these filters and test them and see how, if you can get them down below the 50. If you can't get it down below the 50, um, then you're going to, then you're going to, you've got some sort of an electrical issue. It may be with the addition in this house of the solar system. There may be something in that system, and the electrician may have a way because electricians know what dirty electricity is. They may, ha um, at least the ones I've talked to do, um, they may have some way to to filter if, like, say, the solar system is causing a load on the system that's causing extra dirty electricity everywhere. You know, maybe they've um, they've got a way to to reduce that so that the rest of your circuits are down. Uh, lower. Um, if your house is like mine, it's simple. You can do it all yourself. It takes you about an hour. But if you've got one that's more complicated, and then and then you get an electrician here. If he identifies what he, because like there's one house that I've seen where the problem was um, they had a, and, and I don't remember if it was a single circuit um, or if it was multiple circuits, but they had a grounding problem. Fix the grounding problem. And all of their dirty electricity was much lower, and then the filter solved the problem. So, so uh, then without all the smart devices in there, you get it down into the safety levels. Then you can start adding the smart devices back in and seeing how they affect it, because you know you've got a, a safe base to operate from, and if it takes it, if adding a smart light switch, for example, on that circuit increases it you know above you stick a filter in that circuit and see if it brings it down below if it doesn't um, it probably will but if it doesn't then you make a device to, a decision do I really want that how bad you know is this room where I'm going to be spending a lot of time in is this uh, one that I really want you know you got to make those decisions yourself whether or not it's close enough to the safe range that you feel good about it um, and that's how that's how you go through and, and figure all this stuff out. So um, same thing with the smart thermostat. You know, same thing with then when you rewire the the uh, if you, you but you got to get your house down to all those smart devices off, and then and see if you have electrical because that's the only way you're going to know if it's an ele an electrical problem that's not caused by all these smart devices. Once you get it down to where you can get all the circuits down within a safe range, then you start adding those smart devices on one on one, and you can make an individual assessment whether how much do I like this smart device versus the radiation I'm going to be putting up with, and you can just item by item go through and figure out um, uh, what what you can uh, what you can do. What I what I tend to think will end up happening. The people that own this house, you've got one of the owners that is really concerned about it. And the other one is a computer guy, and he doesn't care about it. He doesn't think it's an issue at all. And so, um, the I don't know that they'll ever, you know, work on solving these problems. But uh, but if if uh, if you uh, what what I what I suspect is the smart devices are causing some of it. What I th what the smart devices are causing, I believe uh, the filters would filter out. Um, you might have to have an extra filter on an occasional circuit or something. Um, I, I think they've got probably some wiring issues, um, and it could have something to do with some of the new systems they've added on their house, like the the solar panels on, on the roof and things like that. But that's the way, that's the approach that you'd have to take to go through and identify all the problems and 
and then and then it's just as you add each new system back on online you can see how it affects the rest of the house the rest of the circuits or the circuit that it's involved with and you can make each decision as you go along then you're making intelligent decisions and and uh, that way you can solve the problems that you want to and if you there's some that you don't want to solve that's up to you <laughs> so anyway i hope that was helpful i appreciate uh you taking the you you know buying this little mini course and and going through this and you know um uh if it was me i would you know remove the smart meter off my house if i could um i would I would get rid of all of the smart devices, take it down to a safe level, and then I'd add them back, just like I told you. And to me, if I have to choose between the radiation or a smart device, I'm going to go with um, getting rid of the smart device, um, unless I've got a way that I can put it in something to protect it. So uh, with that, I hope that's helpful, and we will call that a wrap. Thank you. Talk to you in the next video.